Okay, so today I'm going to show you actually how to take this and I'm doing it for more than you uh, just Anna because I know a lot of other pair educators need to know how to adjust this also. So you've got all these notes and you need to know how I'm going to put this into Word. Well, you already know how to type so I'm not going to do any of the text there, but it's the shapes that are going to throw you off. So I'm going to Alt Tab to Word. Once again, we're going to go up to our insert and we're going to go to shapes. And just so you know, uh, we'll get more advanced with this. You can download shapes uh, and put them in your pictures. You've got smart art also, and we'll go into there later. But right now, shapes, and we need a triangle. We're going to go to a triangle and we're going to just draw in a triangle. There we go. And uh, most kids like colors. You can keep it a color if you want to uh, or not. Now, you need to hit your right click on your mouse right here because you need to uh, put this to the back. So you're going to send to back behind text because you need to type letters around it. So let's go back. So we need an A, B, and a C. So here we go. So just to, uh, just escape off of it. And now we're going to go ahead and see so a tab. So this was B up here. And actually, that's a little high, so we're going to drag that down so we can actually get, and this all has to do with your margins. I'm going to just tell you that right now. So we're going to tab over, and you can position it even better. So that's the tab is too far, so shift tab back. Here we go. And of course, shift tab does not want to work. And why not? I don't know. So let's just backspace. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's internet, shift tab. Okay, so just hit your space bar a couple times. And we're going to do a B there. And we're going to move that position up. So just click your triangle and you just hit your up arrow so you can position it even finer. Okay, there we go. And your low vision kids will get this very easily. With a blind kid, they have to have it in Braille tactile. That's just all there is to it. And just double check to make sure you've got all this. Next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to hit enter all the way down. There's A. And I can already tell you if you do A first, C is going to move. Okay, so you can. Uh, right arrow, and now just hit your space bar, move it in, okay? Then right arrow, and then just let's continue to tab. Here we go. And C goes there. Easy peasy, right? We love that. Okay, so um, that's how you're going to do your angles. Let's go down to the more complicated ones. Okay, so triangle, and you're just going to flip and rotate on that, okay? So let's just go back very quickly. Enter, 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 enter. You just get down there because you're going to insert these. Insert, and this is a triangle. So that goes this way. Now I'm going to show you just so you can keep them uh, congruent or equal and even. So let's just go back there and take a look. Yep, okay, upside down. So uh, copy it, click off, paste, okay? Now, uh, this one can go down and this one needs to rotate. See that green thing right there? Oh yeah, we love that green thing. And rotate, yep, and match them up, okay? So you just have to hit your left arrow. And what's nice about the arrow keys is it helps you uh, fine tune what you need. There you go, and you already know how to type in uh, the numbers. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, it looks like a tiny little triangle. Yeah, I can't tell you what he did there. But once again, if you need to send it to the background, you can. Okay, let's do this one over here. Okay, so get off of that. Let's go, to, whoops, and that's what happens a lot. So just get enter down and then just take that and then just drag it right back up. So if you um, forget to hit your enter down, no big deal. Okay, so triangle with a line and an angle. Okay, so insert shape, triangle, so let's just do your triangle, and you remember now you need to send it to the back because you're going to draw over top of it, okay, send backwards. Now you need to insert, shape, we need a curvy line, okay, here's a curvy line, and with low vision kids, I'm already going to tell you, you are going to need to uh, make that dark, so hit your applications key or right click. Format your shape. Uh, we do want a line color. We want a solid line and make it black. You m probably are going to want to make that triangle white so the kid sees it uh, better. So line style, make it nice and thick so they can actually see it better. 
Okay, so now we're going to close that, click here, make that triangle white. Okay, so you can go here also for your colors, make it white. Okay, so I didn't draw the angle far enough, so all you have to do is just uh, left click, hold it down, and increase the size. Click off. Okay, so that's just a little bit of tweaking there. Just drag it out a little bit more. Okay, so you can just keep playing with that. And then, uh, okay, so degrees in there, and you're going to go up to insert. You're going to go to symbol. Oops, sorry, can't do that with it selected. Insert symbol. There's your little degree mark, so you can just select that. Control Shift and Control X. You can see things have moved around. It's no big deal. That's the reason why we uh, have moved things into position. And let's control Z and do that. Okay, let's just move that down. And enter, enter, enter. Once again, that's no big deal. You so you go down and delete it back up. Okay, click and move back into position. I can already tell you that's going to move as I hit my tab. Okay, now it disappeared. So that is not, you have to play around with the send to back. Let's send behind text. Ah, and looky there. Okay, so you kind of have to play with that um, to see uh, how exactly that is going to be looking. Okay, delete. Let's go ahead and tab that over. Okay, so too far, so go ahead and hit backspace and then hit your space bar, okay? So you just gotta tweak, uh, you just gotta play around with that. And uh, 64, so once again, you're gonna go up arrow, okay? And tab, and then just hit your space bar. Okay, if it's too far up, down arrow, tab, tab, see how far, oh, look at that, rock, rocking right there, and type in 64, okay? So you do those. Okay, let's go down to marks. Okay, once again, you're just gonna draw, if it's a triangle, a right triangle. So quickly go back. Let's get down there. Okay, right triangle, insert shape. Okay, we've got all sorts of things. I saw Silly's. oh, there's our beautiful right triangle. Okay, so here we go. And what I find, once again, uh, send behind text seems to, in general, work the best. Just take a little square that's instead of, so you don't have to free draw it, okay? Just take a little square there, and you're gonna make, ta-da! Once again, uh, you're gonna hit your right click. You need to format this shape. You can go right here to their shape outline. There is your font color, okay? And you're going to make it a dark black, okay? So you're probably, and make it thick, okay? and line color two point, that looks good. Uh, that shows up pretty nicely. If this is a really low vision kid, then you are going to want to take that and you are going to want to turn that white, okay? Just make sure everything is nice and thick. Now I know there is going to, you're gonna get down here where you have to draw lines. Well, we already got that solution. So you go up here, do your shapes, there's your line. So as I have to do if you need to draw two lines, there we go, beautiful. And truly, the easiest thing is to do after you format it, so once again, hit your right click, go to your format. You need to make these nice and thick, okay? Color, change it to black, okay? And close, and then copy it. Now, when you copy, Control C is the easiest one, you need to click off of that, okay? Paste it, and then of course, you can just draw it in right there and escape. Okay, so that's how you do one and two lines. Let's see what else there is here. Solid dots, you've already got your you know, circles. You just go to your insert, once again, your shape. And this actually becomes a lot of fun. You know, big circle, you can make it any, and then black. You know, so you can either go up to your ribbon or you can hit your right click on your mouse. And of course, you don't want it that big because you want to make it nice and small. Okay, uh, the triangles, the lines. So really, uh, you're probably gonna have to do this puzzle piece freelance, no big deal. You're gonna get very talented. All of these are in your math symbols, the congruency, the triangles, all those are your math symbols. Okay, let's do the line segment. So line segments, let's go ahead and just enter. Okay, so WH. 
Now this is like a really cool trick, and I've already shown uh, the students this. You're gonna shift underline, okay? 